I've logged into my Scratch account and I'm going to leave the cat here for the moment and um, but I want to make him smaller so um, you don't have to live them at that size so if you come down to the size block down here I want to make him smaller so I'm going to make him 30 percent and makes him much smaller so we can actually see what's going on so we'll just leave him there for the moment and what we're going to do is we're going to use the pen tool so to start with the pen tool we're going to click down here in the bottom left hand corner and add an extension click on this and we'll click on the pen tool and just click on that block and we add the whole, whole set of new pen blocks but what we want to do is we want to make a, make our own block that we can use to call a simple function so what we're going to do is click on my blocks and we're going to click over here and click on make a block and we're going to call this block uh, let's call it square click OK and so now we're going to we get this block here let's click on here we're going to use this block here called define square and what I want to do is be able to write a program so um, the, we can put the cat up into the corner here and he will draw us a, a square and then we might want it to go into another corner over here and draw another square and then go down into the bottom corner so we could put a square in each corner and basically we can use this code to actually execute a little subroutine um, whenever we want to so I'm going to define what we mean by square first of all and so what I want to do is first thing I want to do is put the pen down uh, and then I'm going to set the pen color now be careful here always make sure when you want something definitive definitive you use the word set rather than change because if you look at this one here this means that you'll change the color by a particular value we don't want change we want set in this case I'm just going to set it to black so we can see it against the white background here and then I want to set the pen size to um, it's five so we can see it and then I'm going to use the repeat block so this is this now sets up every time we call this program called square can you see it's also made this block called square and so when we call this block in our routine when, it, when we click on square or when the, when the program hits or uses square it's going to call everything that's being defined by square so let's just carry on over here now I'm going to click on control so if we're making a square I'm going to click on repeat uh, we want the repeat block making a square so I'm going to make it four and then I'm going to click on motion and I'm going to get it to move uh, let's make it 100 steps so we can see it make it 50 so we can see it and then we're going to rotate I know what we'll do let's do let's do this let's make it a square let's do it um, let's do let's do an octagon so the turn is going to be 45 degrees so now <coughs> we've defined the square now if you want the object to move around it's really good to bookend pen down and f it should end with pen up otherwise if we keep the pen down whenever we move around it's likely to just keep drawing so we'll come back to the pen block here and finally I'm going to put click on pen up so it's going to execute this put the pen down set the color yada 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 do the draw the command click pen up so now we can do things like this so let's just say for example we wanted to control this with the green flag we'll do that and the green flag it's set a position we wanted to go to zero zero so it's go to the center of the board so put zero in here and zero in here and then we want it perhaps I don't know let's 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 just wait a second before it does anything and then we want to move gently to let's glide let's glide to a position or let's glide to where we are here that's fine let's do that there so we're in this position and if I move so you could look at this block here it's got a position of minus 185 132 and if we look over here on the stage this is where the scratch cat is now if I move it to here you can see how the glide block has changed its value so I'm not going to use that one but I'll use this one so glide one second to here and now, now we can use the my blocks we can then say draw the square and then in fact let's why not let's come back and use this block that we had here before so then do this then glide to here and then let's do the square again so we expect 
when we run this routine, it's going to call a square function, call this function twice. Um, and so I expect it to start in the middle, to go up into the top left hand corner, draw a square, go across the top right hand corner and draw another square. Now whether we run out of space or not, I don't know, but that's what I'm expecting to happen. So let's test our program. Let's click on go, so it's going to jump to the middle and wait a second. Click, there we go. Of course we're doing an octagon, not another square, but there we go, you can get the idea. So now it's drawn those two shapes. And that is how we can start using this define block to find a square. And this whole block of code here is called over here in, in, this, in this command. And that's how we build our own blocks and make our coding a lot more powerful. Well, good luck with that. See how you get on.